Good morning. Good Welcome morning. to Four Points. We're so excited to have you today. Thank you so much for having me. It's great to be here. We would love to start by showcasing some of the equitable access practices we do here with instruction, assessment, and um, specifically one of our leadership courses that we offer to help build these skills. We're going to combine two of the loves of my life, leadership and martial arts, into one class to help our students learn all the skills that come with both of them. So why don't we talk to a few students to kick this off? I would love that. That sounds great. This is Mr. Lutz's Exploring Leadership class, and we're four former students who did it last semester, and we're going to give you a tour of the classroom. So to start our tour, we're looking at the 20 precepts of Karate Do, this board up here. You can see all 20, uh, starting with Karate Do begins with courtesy and ends with respect, and always think and devise ways to live by the precepts daily. This is a bulletin board where every color is a different rank, and the names are who stand it out the most for each test, and it just reminds us to keep going. So these are the words we would have to say whenever we bow into the classroom. And they go in order from each rank, from white all the way to black. And they are all different attributes of uh, leadership. On the whiteboard, we have all of the moves that we learned. Um, so every single color represents a band. Um, so for example, all of the orange is the orange band. Um, and so on all the way to black. Thank you so much for having us in your classroom today. Can you tell us about the leadership and the martial arts class here at Four Points? Absolutely. So my main educational philosophy is always character over content. And this course gives me and the kids an opportunity to demonstrate that. We really focus on the mind and the heart and the spirit. And then the content tends to trail after those things. And what do you think is the most important thing that the kids are taking from this class during their time here? I would say self-confidence, self-respect, and self-discipline for sure are the three most important attributes that come out of this class. It helps all students feel like they're a part of something. There is something for everybody in martial arts. So regardless of whether you have a passion for it in the beginning or not, you can find something that you can really latch on to and learn to love in this course. So in a program like this where there is martial arts, the focus here is not to teach kids how to fight, correct? Correct. The focus is to teach kids how not to fight, how to peacefully and safely and effectively resolve conflict, whether we're talking about a physical conflict or whether we're talking about an academic or emotional conflict. It's, it's focusing on peace and resolution in safe and harmonious ways. More potential energy. Teach. Okay. Mr. Lutz um, introduced an idea um, during leadership for a leadership course regarding his passion for martial arts. And uh, Dr. Bates and I just simply listened and realized that people are more successful when they're teaching through their passions. We weren't really sure what the structure was going to look like at the beginning, but Tyler had it all in his mind on how he wanted it to go. And the more he talked about it and the more he talked about the passion that he has for this and the different types of impacts it would have on our students, the more we got more excited about supporting him and making sure that we were able to make this come true. Tell us what your experience has been. Um, when I first joined the class, I didn't know it was martial arts, and I wasn't the biggest fan of martial arts until I realized that it was more fun because it's made a good impact on me, and like I've been just a better student and a better person. I've definitely been able to uh, be a leader in like group projects and stuff and keep other people on task. Mostly I've been probably more disciplined and... Uh, I will also start doing a lot of push-ups and sit-ups because we need to practice that a lot more. <laughs> Can you tell me a little bit about how the leadership program impacted you and how you chose to join it? It was the leadership aspect that was new to her and, uh, and it was really well integrated into the program. And personally, my wife and I started seeing changes in Juliet within days of starting the program. Uh, she started getting more... Uh, excited about school, about heading to, to, to the assessments every week. Um, 
she, you know, she was excited about talking about the moves that she was learning, but also we could tell that she was displaying more self-discipline, uh, more organization. It was, it was great. Her whole attitude towards school really improved. Why did you decide that you wanted to do it? I was very curious about it, and I realized it was a really good decision because I loved it. And the way Mr. Lutz teaches it is like, you feel like it's never ending. Like there's always that like one move that you always want to learn, but like you gotta learn to like be patient and like go through all the other moves. And then once you get to like the move that you want to learn, then it's like, like twice as more exciting. This is our first step to potentially looking at this as a course to help build that middle school resilience or that life resilience through these traits and principles and actually expanding the program so that more kids can have access to that so that they all have those skills to be successful in the classroom and in life.